Hi everyone, it's Holly from Hand Printed. Today I'm going to share with you a really quick and easy printmaking project. This one's great to loosen up a little bit, do something a little bit more free and creative. Um, it's great for children, any age, um, you can do this, so have a little go. We are going to be using um, pencil erasers, so the rubbers at the end of pencils, to print with. So these um, make really nice little printmaking tools. You can pick up the ink with one of these rubbers and then use it to stamp down on your paper. It's really simple, but it works really well to get a lovely little polka dots and scattered sort of confetti effect. Um, so I have rummaged through my pencil case and managed to find six different pencils with um, rubbers on. If you don't have any of these, you can use cotton buds instead. So grab um, some of those. So we're going to use those and I'm going to use them with, um, I've got these Versacraft ink pads, which we have at hand printed. These are really lovely. These can be used on fabric or paper and um, lots of different materials, actually. So you can use this product on fabric if you want to as well and make a really lovely design. I'm just going to use paper for today. We also have, um, actually, we have in new Versa Fine um, ink pads and they're really nice, highly pigmented ink pads for printing onto paper. So either is fine. If you don't have any ink pads at all, you can get a um, one of those shallow sponge pads and load it up with some water-based ink or paint, like poster paint, something like that will work really well. So improvise, have a rummage, see what you got. So once you've assembled something to stamp with and some inks, you can get cracking. So to turn this into a design, what I'm going to do is use a mask. Now, one thing that's really nice to do this technique with is a monogram. So you can just choose your initial or maybe the initial of someone you're going to give this a present to, or maybe you write a word. You can cut out a shape here. Anything that you like, a nice simple shape of some kind. I'm gonna do an H for Holly. And I'm just cutting it out of paper. Okay, now I've got my simple H. It should fit nicely in the center of your fabric or your paper, whatever you're going to be printing with. And we don't want it to move around. So I've got some blue tack that I've salvaged from around the house. And I'm just gonna put a couple of blobs in just to keep it down. I don't want it moving around because this mask is going to stop our polka dots from getting into this section of the paper or your fabric. So we need it to stay still. You could use, you could mask out an area with some masking tape if you want to instead. If you're doing it on fabric, that's a really good idea. If you just got, here's some, if you've got a roll of masking tape, you can mask out an area because you just want it to give you nice clean edges. If you're doing it on paper, it's probably not going to work quite as well because it might rip the paper when you pull it off, which can be really annoying after you've worked hard on it. Um, so blue tack is good for, um, for your paper. Okay, so now I've got my mask on there. And I've chosen a selection of Versacraft ink pads from my stash in kind of bluesy, greensy colours. Got some of the big and I've got some of the mini ones as well. Any, anything's good, because um, these are kind of the colours that I usually like to go for. Almost of my work ends up being these colours. But you can use any that you like. You can go rainbow colours. You can just go on one colour, mix and match, whatever you fancy, feel free to go completely creative with this. I'm just taking all the lids off all of them. And then I'm going to assign one pencil per colour, because I don't want to get them muddled up. You can be a bit more free and easy with this if you want to. I'm just gonna make sure I've got one for each. There we go. And it's so simple and so um, kind of free. All you need to do is grab your pencil, Dip it a couple of times in the ink pad and then stamp over the top. You'll be able to get a few stamps from each inking up and then just stamp over the top. What we want to do is stamp over the edge of our mask and around it. What I'm going to try and do, and we'll see if I'm successful, I'm going to try and have it really concentrated around the edge of um, my H so that it's going to come out nice and clearly and then kind of I want them to dissipate and disperse around so it looks like confetti's falling or something like that. But all you need to do is load up your eraser 
and keep stamping it on. When you've done one colour, switch to another. So that's my first colour. You can see um, where there's more or less ink on the stamp, you get kind of lighter and darker dots, which could be really lovely. Even just doing it in one colour could be really lovely. So I could keep going with um, with this cerulean blue. I think it's cerulean blue. It is with the cerulean blue. Um, and I could build it up, but I'm going to switch colours. If you only have one pencil with an eraser, just um, give it a little wash or just wipe it on a rag or a piece of tissue just to change the colour. I'm just going to switch pencils and go again. Okay, so here is my design all stamped up. I've still got my mask on there. I um, batted between the colours a few times and, and switching out, um, adding lots and just sort of being free and easy with it. You could go in rainbow stripes if you want to. You could do all just one colour. There's loads of different things you can do. So just have a play with it and see what happens. Um, I made extra care. Um, I took extra care to make sure I went over the edge of the, pretty much the whole H because that boundary between the area, between the mask, where the mask was, and the stance is really important because that's going to make your design show up. So just make sure that you've gone over pretty much all the edge of the design so that you're going to get your nice crisp monogram or shape or whatever your design is. And now I can just take the shape off. Remove that little bit of blue tack. Ooh. And there's my finished design. It's quick, it's easy, anyone can have a go. Um, if you're feeling a little stuck and you want to do something that's a little bit looser, then have a go with this. It's really, it's really fun. You should do it. Um, if you do have a go, please tag us on Instagram or Facebook. We'd love to see what you're getting up to um, at Handprinted UK. Um, and printmaking, hashtag printmaking for the people. Please show us what you're doing. We'd love to, um, we would love to see. Thank you for watching.